Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first of all, let's go to text and let's write D and Clisation Tool. Also, Anchor Point, move to down here, Clisation Tool. And let's go to Align, click this icon for move to center. And Control R, let's add one line here. So, anytime select this text and press P, move to down and create new passing in keyframe, go to 10 keyframes for shortcut, hold shift, press page down in keyboard and move to up. Also, go to 10 keyframes. Let me show other way for go to 10 keyframes, click time duration, write plus 10, click OK for go to 10 keyframes and let's move to down like this. Select two frames, make it easy or click F9. Go to graph editor and let's zoom to graph. And select this middle two frame. Let's move to left and this move to right. Preview animation. Okay, back to two frames and go to last two frame. Let's go to three two frames. For go to frame by frame two frames, use page down keyboard. One, two, three. And move to up like this. Go to three two frames again. One, two, three. Select this middle shoe frame, copy pass for jumping animation and pre animation again. Okay, that's good. So, in this time, let's go to shape layers, hold this icon, choose ellipse tool, and hold shift, make one ellipse like this. Clisation tool, and in this time, let's move to here. Let's zoom to like this and press P. Let's Let's move to left like this and move to right this layer. Let's create new parts in keyframe and go to some keyframes, move to right like this and select keyframes, make it easy. Choose work area, let's see. Okay, go to graph editor and choose graph. Let's make like this animation. Back to keyframes. And say two frames, move to right and go to first, second, and hold shift press S, open scale. Let's create scale two frame, change scale zero. And go to here, change 100. And make the two frames easy. And preview animation. Select last two frame, go to graph editor and move to right. Let's move to right, please. Okay, back to two frames. And select last shift frame, move to here for more speed animation. And in this time, select this text layer D, hold shift, press R, open rotation. And create rotation two frame, go to 10 two frames and chain rotation like this for turn to P. Again, go to 10 two frames, let's move to right. Again, 10 two frames, move to left. Again, 10 two frames, move to right. Again, move to left. And again, and last few frame, let's select two frames and make it easy. And preview animation. Okay, pretty good. And select first few frame, go to graph editor, and let's see timing. Select this graph and move to left. Let's move to left this. Back to two frames. And in this time, let's select two frames, move to left. Okay, back to two frames and zoom to graph. Let's change graph a little bit to right like this. Nice, back to two frames. And in this time, let's select these tags and create new parts in two frame. Go to here and move to up let's see okay not bad and also let's enable title action save and move to left so go to middle and move to down for this jumping animation okay and Select this shape layer, go to some two frames and move to left. 
let's move to here and we can move to down like this and let's move to left for replace last keyframe okay that's good and in this time let's go to text and write other letters let's write all Clusation tool and let's animate layers let's move to right and press s let's click this icon and change scale zero and this and let's create new scale keyframe and go to 10 keyframes and change scale this 100 and this 100 let's see okay we can change this 80 and this 120 go to 10 keyframes and let's write this 80 and this 110 again 10 keyframes let's change this 105 and this 95 again 10 keyframes 100 and this 104 bounce animation and say keyframes make it easy let's see okay choose work area nice so there are a lot of keyframes for add bounce animation like this okay in this time let's select these all let's move to down like this here and Control D this all takes and move to right also this move to right and let's double click right S again Control D and move to right double click edit right T and move to right let's see nice and select these three text layers and let's see timing and move to left okay I think it's not bad let's see full animation okay that's good I like it so in this time let's create background layer close this text settings and right click new and solid add the name background click ok move to behind of text layers go to fx processors effect gradient ramp choose gradient ramp use for background layer and start color let's choose green and end color use green with eyedropper and open inside change to like this click ok and change ramp shape radial ramp and swap colors choose this point move to down and this move to down and let's change end color to dark and go to fs process search effect drop shadow choose drop shadow use for circle let's see and change distance like this and and softness also copy drop shadow select other text layers control v for paste nice also go to window open animation comes as three if you haven't this animation comes as three i will add link on the station below you can check out now and go to starter precoms shape elements and particle fireworks let's choose click add and close window and let's timing okay we can use here let's move to left nice and use effect fill let's search and use for particle and color white nice so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video leave comments and have a good day good luck